Nissan just announced that the 2018 Leaf electric car has started production. What's more is that it will be available in dealerships across the United States in January, starting at $29,990. The new Leaf will be produced at the Smyrna Vehicle Assembly Plant in Smyrna, Tennessee, joining the Nissan Rogue, Pathfinder, Altima, Maxima, and Infiniti QX60. The facility started building cars for Nissan in 1983, assembling roughly 640,000 vehicles per year. Leaf production outside of the U.S. will be handled by the Sunderland, England facility, and a PAMA plant in Yokosuka, Japan. With the Leaf's low starting price and latest suite of Nissan Intelligent Mobility features, we're excited to ramp up production and bring the Leaf to market next month, said Jeff Yungener, Vice President of Manufacturing at the Smyrna plant. The 2018 Nissan Leaf debuted earlier this year with a major design overhaul, ditching the old Leaf's strange looks for a more conventional appearance. It will do 150 miles on a single charge meaning, you won't need to plug it in after every commute. The LEAF will also be one of the first cars to feature Pro Pilot Stop and Go Assist and E-Pedal 1 Pedal Driving, embracing Nissan's Intelligent Mobility Initiative. The LEAF has sold more than 114,550 units in the United States since 2011, many of those coming from the Smyrna plant. However, will its fresh look and new features be enough to sway electric car buyers from the Chevy Bolt and Tesla Model 3? At this very moment I'm a very well-pampered, mostly willing hostage of Nissan at some Napa Valley resort that seems to be entirely populated with elderly folks on electric scooters. Nissan is showing their latest version of their very sleek and advanced electric scooter, the Leaf, to me and other journalists very soon. What do you want to know about it? We know what it looks like, we generally know the specs 147 horsepower, 150 miles of range, that one pedal driving thing that's like a bumper car, all that. I'll be getting behind the wheel of this lightning burner soon, so I'll have driving impressions, and I'll crawl all the hell over and inside the thing to let you know what it's like. Hopefully, I'll get to try Nissan's semi-autonomous driving technology, Nissan Pro Pilot Assist, which, if they'll let me, I'll compare to driving while on a bean, which I'm assuming is a pretty similar experience. If not, I'll just grill the techs for distales until they ask me to please let go of their arm, because that's starting to hurt. My pre-experience prejudices? I've never been crazy about the leaf. I think it does its basic job well enough, but it's a pretty deeply bloodless car. Making an EV boring is sort of an achievement, though, and they're the best-selling EV. I don't really like the new styling any more than the old one, and I feel like in a world with the Chevy Bolt and the Tesla Model 3, any electric car with less than 200 miles of range just doesn't matter anymore. Nissan is supposedly planning a 200-plus mile range leaf by 2019, though, so I'll see what I can find out about that. I promise I'll keep an open mind, though. So, if there's anything specific you want checked, let me know. The Japanese automaker known for producing the popular Outback with its appeal to small families and singles with an outdoorsy vibe now has a three-row SUV, the Ascend, that it revealed as part of the LA Auto Show Tuesday. Takashi Takamori, executive vice president and director of Subaru Corporation, summed up the significance before the vehicle made its appearance. With Ascend, we finally produced what has been missing from the lineup. He said, noting that Subaru's journey in the United States started 50 years ago with a small car, the 360, which was a bit too small for American tastes. That's likely not to be the case with Ascend. Takimri said the SUV was designed exclusively for the US market. As the presentation got underway, a gleaming white 2019 Ascent drove onto the stage, and Tom Dahl, president of Subaru of America, offered his take using plenty of dog references as a family of yellow lamps named the Barclays poured out.
The vehicle will go on sale in early summer 2018, priced in the low $30,000 S. It will be powered by a 260 horsepower, 2.4 liter boxer engine that has plenty of bot and can tow 5,000 pounds. Seven or eight passenger configurations will be possible and second row captain's chairs will be available. The vehicle, built as a crossover concept when it was shown at the New York Auto Show in April, allows the company to compete in an increasingly competitive space. Dahl previously said Subaru made a mistake by becoming a favorite of younger, single people or small families, but missing out if they added more kids, according to a USA Today story in April. The Ascend, he said then, is designed to change that, providing millennials with a seven-seat option as they get older or acquire more things to carry along despite the lack of a larger SUV in an increasingly SUV and truck-focused market. The automaker has had a good run in recent years, with 71 consecutive months of yearly month-over-month -month growth through October. Subaru had a 0.5% increase in its U.S. sales for October compared to the same month a year ago, increasing from 53,760 to 54,045. However, the Outback saw its numbers fall even as the new Crosstrek and Impreza registered gains. IHS Market noted in a highlight of the auto show's reveals that the Ascent could pose a problem for the Outback. While Subaru enjoys high owner loyalty, we may see the Ascent cannibalize sales from the Outback as loyalists shift to the larger vehicle, the report said. But the Ascent also solves a problem for Subaru, which will build the Ascent at its plant in Lafayette, Indiana. Rebecca Lindland, Senior Director and Executive Analyst for Kelly Blue Book, noted that automakers never want to see customers grow out of their brands because of a lack of offerings. This is really something that they need in their lineup. It's sort of the next generation of the Tribeca. It's something that their current customers can grow into, Lindman said. Subaru stayed true to its brand and its customer base Tuesday when it used a family of eight Labrador and Golden Retriever dogs to debut its three-row 2019 Ascent SUV. The vehicle will go on sale in summer 2018 and the base price will be in the low $30,000 S. Subaru of America unveiled the new SUV at a press event ahead of the LA Auto Show that highlighted the Barclays, the dogs featured in the company's advertising campaigns. The dogs appeared to be driving. Seven of them then exited the vehicle and greeted Subaru of America President and Chief Operating Officer Tom Dull. He then turned back to the SUV and grabbed out the little guy, a puppy. Subaru, which is owned by Japanese parent company Subaru Corporation, has mastered the art of pulling on consumer heartstrings with ads featuring dogs. And they've focused on canines for good reason, more than half of Subaru drivers are pet owners, with over 48% of them owning at least one dog, according to the company. The Ascent is the largest vehicle the company has ever built. It fits eight passengers in three rows. The SUV, which has a new 2.4-liter turbo engine and is all-wheel drive, comes in a variety of trim levels. Some of those versions include an option for second-row captain-style chairs. The Ascent is among the first round of next-generation Subaru vehicles from its sedans and crossovers to its gas-powered and future all-electric cars to be built on a global platform. The 2017 Subaru Impreza was the first of such vehicles. To be produced at the company's factory in Lafayette, Indiana, the Ascent has driver assistance features on every trim level and features Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, two rival software services that let the driver or passengers bring the functions of their smartphone into the vehicle's central screen. The Ascent is an important vehicle for the company, which has enjoyed a loyal base of customers who own the Subaru Outback, Forester, Impreza, WRX, and Crosstrek. It marks the company's entry into the mid-sized SUV segment and could boost sales even further. Subaru has an annual sales target of 800,000 vehicles by 2020.